for me, I've been traveling all over Africa, and when people ask me, where, are, where in Africa? It's all Africa, mm. you know? I, the 54 countries, if I can. But now I work with South Africa, with Nigeria, Cameroon, Kenya, obviously Morocco, my home country, and I love when I'm there. When I, when I travel all the way to Ghana, for example, I was giving some classes there, I, I, I get so much energy when I go there, and people are so humble, so nice, and so welcoming, and so warm. And I want to share that with the people outside Africa. They are not able to travel like me. I'm very blessed to travel all over, all over the continent. And I want to share that to the kids through animation. So that's a long answer, sorry. <laughs> but no, thank it's you. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, so. Uh, Sara, I want to go back to you because we're talking about seeing is believing. We're talking about cultures. And um, you've been affiliated with some great shows. There's a great story about Dino Dan going to Dino Dana. And then I'd love for you to talk about Muppets Mayhem because that was a big moment for you also um, in working with Lily Singh. And so I'd love for you to talk about both of those projects. Yeah, I mean, I've been, I feel really, really lucky to have um, had people that have believed in me throughout this journey um, and have allowed me to be a part of some really incredible projects, one of them being Dino Dana, um, JJ at Sinking Ship, who I know and love, we know and love. Um, when Dino Dana was being cast, I initially went out for um, Dino Dana's older sister, um, who is, I think the name was Emily initially. Um, and I, I went out and JJ's incredible and, and the way that he operates Sinking Ship is so beautiful. When, when they send out casting breakdowns now, it's, it, it's completely blind. So it's, you know, you're looking for the right person. Um, it doesn't matter how they identify, what race they are, gender expression, gender identity, whatever it may be, um, they're, they're looking for the right kid for the role. Um, and so when I went out and he, he obviously liked me enough to, to book me, um, they completely changed the plot of the show in order for it to make sense that Dino Dana, a young white girl, had a brown girl as her older sister. Mm -hmm. And so that's when they went ahead and uh, changed the plot so, so that Dino Dana had a blended family. Um, and, you know, so it was my brown dad, her white mom, who had gotten married later in life, and they became sisters. Um, and so it's little things like that, that that people can do, that writers can do to make stories more authentic. Um, and, and that was incredible. They ended up switching the name. I remember JJ came up to me. I was, must have been like 11 or 12 years old at the time when we started the show. And he was mm -hmm. like, hey, what do, you want, what do you want the name to be? I mean, you don't really look like an Emily, do you? And I was like, no, sir, I don't. <laughs> um, and he was like, so what name do you want? And I was like, Sarah? <laughs> and so uh, that's when Sara on Dino Dana was born. Um, and yeah, my new, my new show that's coming out in Disney Plus 2023, The Muppets Mayhem, um, is really, really exciting. Um, I, I cannot express how grateful I am to be a part of this new show. Um, and to be a part of such an iconic franchise like The Muppets is just like um, mind boggling to me. Um, but yeah, when I when I was first introduced to to my character Hannah, um, and I learned that Lily Singh was the lead and would be playing my older sister. She's amazing. We love her. Um, and Taj Mori was also going to be a part of the show. I was just like, wow, there's so much melanin on this screen. I would love to be a part of it. Um, and also Lily being from Toronto, where I'm from, being another brown girl who is doing the most incredible things with her platform and showing young brown girls like myself what truly is possible um, and what you can achieve in this space, in the entertainment industry. Um, you know, when, when, I, when I saw that this role was a possibility for me, I, I knew that it was something that I was going to set my mind to, and thankfully it all worked out, and it's coming out next year on Disney+. Plus. Um, and is that all animated or live action? No, animated? so that's live action. Um, so is Dino Dana. The Breadwinner was an animated movie. Um, but, yeah, The Muppets Mayhem is live action. Um, 
it follows Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem, who is the Muppets band that we all know and love, and they're making their Welcome. first studio album. And Lily Singh plays um, uh, an assistant at a record label who helps them make their first studio album. And I play her younger sister, who is a social media influencer, makeup artist. Um, <laughs> And, and we get into all these fun adventures and whatnot. But the most important thing about it is that we have incredible people of color on screen. And, and they simply exist. There's no explanation of their identity, which is what I really love about the show, is that we just exist. We're two brown sisters. And there's no explanation of it um, in the show, which is what I really love. And it's the Muppets. And like Muppets don't have, like <clears throat> you know, they're like green and purple and blue and pink. It's right. just like it, race doesn't exist. Yeah. The most diverse you can get. <laughs> so yeah, I, I feel really lucky to be a part we're of really stories that are championing people yeah. of color. Yeah. yeah, we're really excited for that. So speaking of blue yes. um, uh -huh. and breaking ground, uh, you broke a lot of ground uh, with Blue's Clues. There's a lot of like LGBTQIA and a lot of things that have been integrated. So can you talk about that process with that show and kind of what you evolved it to be sure. and breaking I mean, ground? Our first, um, I was a tomboy growing up. And, um, you know, I grew up on Free to Be You and Me mm -hmm. and Electra Company and Zoom. And as a kid, I felt like it was just in my DNA that you were just, we celebrated all colors, all people, all feminine ways, masculine ways, anybody that we're just all inclusive. So, um, and having my first job at PBS on Reading Rainbow with LeVar Burton, you know, it was just always important to have diversity and inclusion. Um, and uh, when we, we kind of flipped Blue's Clues when we started in that, um, we wanted Blue to be female, but being the tomboy, we wanted to flip her and have her be a boy. I mean, have her look like be blue like a boy, but not have any bows or eyelashes or anything like that. And what was fascinating is that the uh, parents always assumed that Blue was a boy, but the kids always knew that she was a girl. They just accepted that. 